Here we are in downtown Wanneroo and welcome to the UTV Club of WA. I'm Mark Saddle and I'm the events coordinator for the club. To my left here is Dion Fasagi and he is the founder and the president of the club. Thanks Mark and uh, welcome everybody. Um, tonight uh, we're going to basically talk about, about the UTV Club of WA. Yep. Also Mark's got some exciting things to tell us yep. about uh, the what the club has in mind, and yep. we'll get we'll get into that later on. So, Dion, tell us uh, what does UTV stand for? Um, UTV stands for U Utility Terrain Vehicle. Right. Well, why do we need a club for the UTV Club of WA? Why do we need it? Um, I think it's more about a passion. I, I would think. Um, uh, quite a number of years back, uh, Tanya and myself, we each got uh, UTVs. And we really enjoyed it. WA is such a great place to drive around, and uh, um, a lot of people started getting interest. We had uh, lots of our friends started buying yeah. UTVs, and uh, one of the biggest problems is about where do you go drive? Yeah. So, and this is basically how the UTV club started. Well, I think you're a bit modest because you know five years ago you were talking about this, but to get insurance and things like that was a lot harder. Yeah. And, uh, but here we are in September of um, last year. That's right. We decided to actually kickstart a club. Yep. And then uh, hit its straps till about March. Yeah, March this year. We uh, basically got it all registered, licensed, insured. Yep. No, what are, what are these UTVs that are sitting behind us tonight? Um, this this uh, Polaris behind me is a, a Polaris 900 that's been, that has a full cams cage yep. or um, cam spec racing cage. Same with my wife Tanya's. Yep. Safety comes first. As they say, with age comes a cage. Yeah. Yes. It's also a Polaris Razor. Yep. Same with uh, the one on the left. That's Jim's. Uh, Jim's actually Jim's Polaris is actually quite unique. It's uh, Jim is disabled, yep. so his buggy has got hand so controls. Modified, modified for hand controls, and that's what makes it very cool for people that are disabled. Yep. It's a, a cheap way to get into some uh, bit of uh, off-road playing or just uh, casual driving with all the nice areas we have in WA and uh, the Outback. Um, so it's, it's, it's a very diversified vehicle, I would suppose. You get UTVs for farmers. That's got tray backs, and they even get UTVs that pull uh, a lawnmower yep. to cut lawns. And, and, and uh, now they're even more modern again. And now they've even made them for petrol heads for that want to race. And old people yeah. like us, where with age comes a cage. That's it. You know, after you've driven bikes and quads for uh, quite a number of number of years, and you get a bit older, yep. um, what's the saying? With age comes a cage. Yep. And um, that's basically where we are. Right. So. Um, Shall we get into this news? Yes, that's a good idea. Um, so, tell us about of, it. Well, first of all, um, we've been able to acquire some land for the UTV Club of WA, so this is really exciting news. And well, why don't you tell us about the first piece of land? We've got two pieces of land. So the first one, and, and uh, briefly where your contact came from. Well, um, a couple of years back, uh, I was uh, helping guys, well, one specific guy, a guy called Damo, up in uh, Darwin with parts. Yep. And I was always farming parts up to him. And he's got a brother, or a friend brother, I would say. Yep. Um, and their family has got a, a nice piece of land outside Brookton. Yep. Uh, 3,000 plus acres of land. Fantastic. And... Um, uh, we went up there and had a look at it, and there's very good potential for us to actually have a bit of a home for the club. Yep. Um, we're basically going around the principles of leasing the land from them yep. so that we can have a bit of a home for um, the club members, yep. meaning we can go there um, weekends during the week, uh, have a good drive. Um, uh, the whole idea is to set up enduros. Yep. Um, and just uh, socialise with other people with UTVs. Well, this piece of property is actually going to be able to cater for uh, the hardcores and the drive days. And the disabled. And the disabled. That's so, the whole idea because we have three uh, disabled people in our club. Yep. Uh, Jim, who, who owns that, that buggy, he's on our committee. Yep. And I'm sure when a lot more disabled people see what uh, potential and uh, we have uh, in the club, I think there'll be many more. 
well, the committee and all of us have got together and we can see that we could have a first meeting there um, real soon. And we're thinking of having that meeting where anyone with a UTV, any type, it will be safety type unrestricted. So you can come with it if you've just got a lap sash. You can come and we're going to have a, a drive day over a weekend Yep. Uh, where the owners are going to put a lamb on the spit. We'll probably stay the night. We can do a barbecue during the day. Yep. Um, and, and we're talking all different types of UTVs from diesel There's no restriction. To, to, uh, yep. So we envisage there'll be a good 40, 50 UTVs come along to this. The, play, the property can cater for it. Yep. And um, the owners are just keen as mustard to have us there. And uh, they'll, in fact, go as far as um, modifying that property to do rock climbing, yep. uh, long enduros, could be up to 20 kilometres per lap, could be... Even shorter. more, actually, because it's 3,000 acres, we can do a 30, 40 yep. kilometre uh, lap, depending on how we uh, uh, pace it out Absolutely. and how we route it up. Absolutely. And also depending on how many people we have to help us marshal, because if you cover it a long distance yep. like that, you actually need some people to support well, us. The beauty is this this probably had some roads that lead to yeah, really that, every point. That's what's nice about the property. Gonna be it'll be all natural terrain. Yep. We wouldn't have to do uh, any real work to the property. It's um, the, the, the times we went up there and had to drive around, uh, there's such a diversity diversity of different terrain, yep. even a river crossing yep. for, uh, <laughs> to make it quite fun, you know, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's exciting times, yep. Yep. and uh, of course, if uh, there's some other good news for those real die-hard petrol heads that want to race, Mark's got some interesting news about uh, a full-blown racetrack. I do, so one of our committee members was on a work site who was just happened to be talking to another worker, and he said, oh, well, I've got some property down... Uh, down Pingley Way, you can bring your UTVs down there. And so after asking a bit of questions, he's actually had some motorbikes on the property at some stage and now he no longer has it. And the, the family only bought the property just to meet months and, you know, just to have fun. Just to have fun, yeah, mainly quads and bikes. Yep. And you know? so they have half a motocross track with this half of an enduro track out there. So it's 150 acres. Um, we envisage that we'll run a... Um, part motocross, part enduro, or we might just have an event where it's just a motocrossy type race, or we'll mix in motocross and enduro together, and we can make yep. it a five kilometer or a short kilometer track. Yep. And this is for those diehards like ourselves that like having a bit of fun, fun and at, at a bit time. of rope. And that's got a speedway track on it. And we can use a speedway track for prologues. Yep, oh, of course. Yep, yeah. good idea. And what's good about the track, uh, it, it, it can be four or five buggies wide. Yep. And look, it's so, all, all local. Uh, you know, it's not very far at all. Yeah, and um, camp out for the weekend. We can have day drives. Uh, we can have weekend drives, long weekend and the, good, the good thing about it is um, club members can go there even during the week. Yep. We're going to have a little park where you can put your money in. Yep. Look off to the place. That's you, right. You know, yep. take, take your, your junk with you when you leave. These owners are and so open for us to be there. It's got a clubhouse. Sense. They've got clubhouses that you can add a bar inside. Yeah, in the that's it, yep. Good uh, they've got toilet facilities, um, shower facilities. Both of the properties have uh, food and accommodation with only five or ten minutes drive away. Yep. So if you don't like camping, you can stay there and come back. Um, but uh, great things. That was our most exciting news that we have for the UTV club. It was always about trying to get some land, and we've all the whole committee's been working tirelessly to do this. Yep. And uh, we've done it. So uh, we'll have some meetings coming up in the real near near future future with those two meetings. Please come and um, help our sponsors out by if you're interested in buying UTV, go and see these guys. Check us out on utvwa.com. Yep. I'm Mark Savile and this is Dion Versage. Until next time, we'll see you then. Great. Take one, sink. Take two. Can't even stop you guys all that. Stop it. Because <laughs> we can. <laughs> we can I, one of my questions is what does UTV stand for? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's it. Which camera am I looking at, mate? Do I look in the middle or does it matter? Anyway, I'm Mark Savile and I'm the founder. Uh, founder. <laughs> the beauty of. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> going, it's all right. Yep. Take five. <laughs> take four. <laughs> Wasn't it take four? No, it was take five. Was it take five? Was it take five? Take five. Way on Mark Savile when I'm the main. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> okay, go. Welcome to downtown Wanneroo and hello to the UTV Club of Dubbing. <laughs> I knew it was a <laughs> Okay, so. Alright, let's have a super beer. You haven't even had a super beer yet. Yeah, okay. Take six. Take six. Which, which is which is which is quite good. This stuff is because it's not right. You're starting to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll get that one. Seven. Seven. Oh. <laughs> That's <a sniffy> <laughs> Sorry, I've got to cut again. We didn't talk about how there was this exciting news at the end. Uh, I think we're going to get to that. No. <laughs> Uh, I think we're at, I'm we're at seven or eight takes of the whole right. thing, there'll be so, more than enough. Alright, take eight, nine or whatever you want. Okay, so we started from the front. Take nine. And um, I think... See you soon. I think that's a wrap. <laughs>